You wouldn't believe what it takes to get that crisp, juicy apple onto your plate. But by the end of this video, you might just appreciate that sweet bite a little more. The United States, home to more than just apple pie, is one of the largest apple producers in the world. Each year, millions of apples are cultivated and harvested, but it's not as simple as plucking them off the tree. The process? Well, it's a bit like raising a child. It requires planning, lots of care, and a bit of luck. Now, if you think apples just grow anywhere, hold that thought. The USA's diverse climates allow a variety of apple types to thrive, each adding to the rich agricultural tapestry of the country. Keep watching, because the way these apples make their journey from seed to your hand is nothing short of fascinating. Where apples grow. While apples are grown in several states, Washington State takes the crown. But don't worry, New York, Michigan, and Pennsylvania have a few tricks up their sleeves too. These states provide the perfect climate and soil, making them the best in the apple business. Here's a fun fact you might want to tuck away. Washington State isn't just known for its rainy days and great coffee. It's the apple capital of the United States, producing over half of the country's apples. The unique climate and fertile soil here are like a five-star resort for apple trees. And the apples? Well, they're living the good life. Major apple-growing states. In Washington state, it's apples as far as the eye can see, with regions like Wenatchee, Lake Chelan, and Yakima Valley. They're famous for different varieties of apple, like Red Delicious, Granny Smith, and Fuji. Think of it as a treasure chest, where every apple is a gem. And then there's New York, known for more than just its big city. Its rich apple orchards, particularly in the Hudson Valley and Finger Lakes, offer a postcard-perfect view. And some pretty tasty apples, too. Michigan? They've got their own apple game going, thanks to the Great Lakes, which act like natural air conditioners for the orchards. And let's not forget Pennsylvania, where the southeastern part of the state is dotted with apple orchards that make for a picturesque drive and even better pie. Washington State, the apple capital. So, what makes Washington so special? It's the apple capital for a reason. Producing more than half of the country's apples, Washington is the MVP of the apple world. With its unique climate and fertile soil, particularly in regions like Wenatchee, Lake Chelan, and Yakima Valley, Washington State is the apple's best friend. They're known for producing varieties like Red Delicious, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, and Fuji. Ever notice how biting into a Granny Smith feels like a jolt of energy? Apple farm size. With over 5,000 apple producers across the country, it's safe to say that apples aren't just a snack. The typical farm spans at least 100 acres, making apple cultivation a large-scale operation. Washington State alone boasts 1,160 apple farms, each strategically located in regions with optimal growing conditions. But did you know that behind every apple you eat, there's a whole community of people making sure it's the best one yet? The apple tree life cycle. Let's take a journey. No passport needed. Just a trip through the life of an apple tree. The life cycle starts with a tiny seedling and goes through various stages before it matures and bears fruit. Just like raising kids and ensuring a bountiful harvest. From seedling to sapling, apple trees begin their life in seedling farms where they're pampered for about two months before being transplanted to larger farms. Care and pruning. Once the apple trees are in the ground, this includes pruning, which is like giving the tree a haircut. It's about making sure sunlight reaches all parts of the tree, promoting healthy growth. Remember, as you sow, so shall you reap, and pruning ensures you reap plenty. Ever wondered how to make an apple tree look its best? Pollination and blooming. Pollination is a make-or-break phase in apple production. Farmers often bring in honeybees to do the job, around 14,000 bees per acre. It's like throwing a huge party, but instead of music, it's all about getting the apple flowers to mingle. The result? A successful fruit set that keeps the apples coming. Apple harvesting. When it's time to harvest, the apples are at their peak ripeness, just the right moment for that perfect bite. The process is as labor-intensive as it sounds, with thousands of workers picking apples by hand, though some farms use modern technology to lighten the load. The harvest season. 
In Washington, the apple harvest season kicks off in mid-August and can stretch into early November. Timing depends on the apple variety and local climate conditions. It's a bit like the difference between picking out an outfit for a sunny day versus a rainy one. You need to know what you're dealing with. Apple pickers. The human factor. Apple harvesting is no walk in the park. It relies heavily on migrant workers. These workers are the backbone of the apple industry, often working under challenging conditions to ensure a successful harvest. It's hard work, but as they say, no pain, no gain. Apple production numbers. When it comes to apple production, the United States is a heavyweight. In 2023, Washington state alone harvested 134 million boxes, with New York and Pennsylvania also making significant contributions. Nationwide, we're talking about 240 million bushels of apples. Imagine trying to count that. Now, if you think that's a lot, wait until you hear how we stack up against the rest of the world. United States versus global apple production. On the global stage, the United States ranks third in apple production, behind China and the European Union. While the U.S. produces around 9.9 .9 billion pounds of apples annually, China is in a league of its own with approximately 97 billion pounds. It's a reminder that sometimes there's always a bigger apple. After the harvesting, once the apples are harvested, their journey is far from over. They're either sent directly to markets or processed in various ways. This post-harvest period involves several critical steps, including sorting, packaging, and sometimes processing into apple juice or other products. Packaging and export. A significant portion of U.S. apples heads overseas, but before they go, they undergo a rigorous process of washing, disinfection, and packaging to ensure they meet international standards and arrive fresh. Apple juice production. Apple juice is one of the most popular products made from harvested apples. The process involves juicing and pasteurizing the juice for safe consumption. It's enjoyed globally and is a key product of the apple industry. So, next time you sip on apple juice, you're tasting a bit of American craftsmanship. Conclusion. Apple cultivation and harvesting in the United States isn't just about picking fruit. It's a massive undertaking involving careful planning, extensive labor, and precise execution. From Washington's vast orchards to the processing plants, every step in the journey of an apple is crucial in delivering this beloved fruit to consumers both domestically. If you enjoyed this journey from seed to sip, be sure to check out my previous video, where I dive even deeper into the fascinating world of American agriculture. You can find it right here on the end screen. See you there.